Hey, and welcome back live from Joyce Kilmer Park here in the Bronx. Great day. We do have Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. back with us once again to talk about a very important week and a very special occasion you have to mark today as well. So May 10th through the 20th, we're celebrating everything good in the Bronx. Uh, we call it Bronx Week. We want everyone to go to ILoveTheBronx.com okay. and celebrate with us. Part of Bronx Week is where we induct people to the Bronx Walk of Fame, which oh. is actually the Grand Concourse. That's fancy. And one of our <laughs> inductees in the past, in 2001, we inducted one of your very own, Marvin Scott. Woo! Wait a second. Are hold we, on a second. The Bronx Hold on, hold on. We have to have the proper introduction yes. for him. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> So the fact that Pix 11 is in the Bronx today, I thought that I would take the opportunity and pass an executive order here in the Bronx. When we induct people to the Bronx Walk of Fame, we always look for someone who not only was uh, raised here, but went out there and put his mark on the world and did it unabashedly as a proud Bronxite. And Marvin, you have certainly done that. You're a Bronx boy through and through. Thank we love you. you. We appreciate you. And today, and I'm here with I my wife. I'm here with your lovely bride. Beautiful wife. We are proclaiming today Bra uh, Marvin Scott Day. Round of applause! Oh, of the Round of applause in the crowd. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you. Look Thank at this. You. That's We're proud of you. We're so Scott, proud. Of you. Where did you grow up? I about 11 or 12 blocks from here, Mount Eaton Avenue. Oh, Mount Eaton and Townsend, be precise. And I got to tell you, going back in the Bronx, and the borough president brings me back here every once in a while, yes. so it gives me an opportunity to reflect on the past. Right. Was, uh, going back then, it was like impressionable, innocent, and so memorable. I mean. We're here on the Grand Concourse. Did you tell them that the Grand Concourse is patterned after the Shans of the Day? The Shans, yep, from that, France. That was wow. so wow. Wow. And we're, and we're, from yeah. and we're trying to bring it back to his majestic history and his past. We've been allocating a lot of funding, and, and Marvin Scott has always been someone who's coming back to the Bronx and giving back to the kids, giving back to the community, and that's the reason Absolutely. why we are proclaiming today. Thank you. This is quite day. an honor. You Thank deserve you. it. How you you deserve celebrate? it, my friend. I, I, you know, I'm going to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I have a broadcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what? I was going to say, right you've been at Pix 11 for 38 years, so <laughs> it, it's but, fitting that you just go back to work. But right? You know something? Coming here in the Bronx, I went to Taft High School. I, I think uh, uh, they put together some of my 8-millimeter film oh, going wow. back to those days at Taft High School. It could have been the inspiration for Greece. Yeah. <laughs> those yeah. days, the women... And you're were, a real John Travolta can, over here. Look at those moves. <laughs> you can catch all of Marvin's black from the past videos because he does a Facebook live show every Friday as well. So well, we had you. one last night. There yeah. you go. Well, thank uh, John you for coming out, Lori. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Marvin thank you. Scott. Yes. Marvin thank you Scott. So much. And go to ILoveTheBronx.com, everyone. Okay.